Oh, well, hello there, and thank you for joining me once again for another viral video. It's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous half Persian, half Scottish comedian in the world. Does that even matter? No, but every time people like Kamala Harris talk, they always put in their hyphens. I'm the first ever half Indian, half Jamaican. <laughs> no, it is the perspective of, of a woman who grew up a, a, a black child in America who was also a prosecutor who also has a mother who arrived here at the age of 19 from India who also you know first woman so who cares the only thing that really matters is I'm an American and a patriot who loves this country and that's why watching Joe Biden try to do his job is scary and hilarious at the same time if you agree put it in the comments which is puzzling because every article I'm reading online is saying comedians are finding it tough to mock Joe Biden Washington Post. There's not much to make fun of with Joe Biden. The horrible head writer for the boring Seth Meyers show says, I'm looking forward to the field opening up comedically where we can do jokes about the president or like just take the day off. You know, since the president has changed now, not everything is an emergency all of a sudden. We could talk about movies or other things and I'm really looking forward to it. LA Times, comedians can't figure out what's funny about Joe Biden. Jim Carrey, who wanted to do a good Joe Biden impression, has decided to hang it up and no longer do it on Saturday Night Live. And Saturday Night Live, which used to be a comedy show, has no cast member who can make fun of Joe Biden. A lot of my viewers are younger, so you think, well, maybe they're just being honest. Those are professionals. Millions of views a month come to me just because I'm one of the very few comics who will make fun of the dumbest president on earth. Here's an example of something that happened just this week, but Saturday Night Live has refused to address it. Enjoy. Watching an old man fall is not funny. I would never make fun of someone at a nursing home or someone's grandmother. But you have to understand, Joe Biden is a horrible human being who mocked people's fitness and agility for the last few years. Don't believe me? The media hid this clip from you when Joe Biden made fun of his voter for being fat. You're a damn liar, man. That's not true. And no one has ever said that. No one has heard that. No. You see it on the TV. No, I know you do. And by the way, that's why I, I'm not sedentary. I don't like it up and, and, and no, let, 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 let him go. Let him go. Look, the reason I'm running is because I've been around a long time and I know more than most people now. And I can get things done. That's why I'm running. And you want to check my shape on, let's do push-ups together here, man. Let's do, let's run. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's take my two steps. Number two. Number two. No one has said my son has done anything wrong. And I did not on any occasion. And no one has ever said it. Not I didn't one. Didn't say you were doing anything wrong. I you said, said I set up my son to work in an oil company. You know what you said? I Get your word straight, Jack. That's what I re re hear on the on MSNBC. All you time. don't hear that on MSNBC. <laughs> you did not hear that at all. No, what I you did. heard? No, Look. Okay, I'm not going to get in an argument with you, man. No, no, I don't want to. Either. Well, yeah, you do, but, uh, <laughs> but look, fat, look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. It, it, looks, it looks like you, you don't have any more backbone than Trump does. Oh, my oh. My classic Joe Biden in a lot of ways. It, I feel like it was a little bit of like Joe Biden Mad Libs, like challenging him to push ups. And less than a year ago, Joe Biden was making fun of Donald Trump for not being able to walk properly. The one time he walked down a ramp a little slower on a hot summer day. A step or two. Uh, what, what's your response to that? <laughs> look at how he steps and look how I step. <laughs> Watch how I run up ramps and he stumbles down ramps. Okay, <laughs> come on. It had no handrail. It was like an ice skating rink. Which means this is fair game. I mean, coming up with a funny clip about Biden is not that hard. I dreamed this up as soon as I saw it happen. <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. tweeted this within hours of the fall.
Now, the only reason you wouldn't find that funny is because you're an intolerant, insincere, overly politicized leftist. And I have a lot of younger viewers, so I want to talk to you guys for a minute. Saturday Night Live became famous off of mocking President Gerald Ford falling down the stairs. So why are they silent about it now? Chevy Chase's whole career came from the way he would fumble, making fun of a Republican president. Roll the clip. For President Ford, the year seemed full of snags. In June, he fell down the plain steps on arriving in Austria. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. And now for my second announcement. from New York, it's Saturday night! No problem. <laughs> Don't you just love history? So since those platforms, SNL, Comedy Central, Netflix, refuse to make comedy out of things that are funny and instead push a social agenda on you, I highly suggest you follow me, subscribe, and share me with all your friends. I'm a dinosaur, one of the last remaining comedians left. Support endangered animals. There's three ways you can help. You can share this video, you can subscribe on Patreon or Locals.com, or you can do a one-time donation on Venmo or GoFundMe.com slash Comedy. Until then, I'll be looking hard for things to make fun of about Joe Biden. See you next time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>